winter is coming. Um, freeze warning tomorrow. It's going to be in the low 20s for like four days in a row. So I'm going through the whole property and doing these auxiliary drains, low points. There's about 40 of them. Some of them are full of water, some of them aren't. I'm gonna be doing this most of the morning. The idea is to get all the water out of these. If not, um, first major freeze you have, it's possible that these can burst and then um, the fire system fills up with water and floods everywhere. This one's been kind of tough. I've drained it about 30 times already. Most of the day has been spent winterizing the property for the upcoming freeze, but I've got a few hours to knock out some work orders. Let's jump right in. Just got a call to unclog some drains in a vacant unit. This vacant unit though was not left in good hands. So we have some vendors trashing it out. All right, dishwasher not drying. Um, Tupperware will never dry. I don't know if that what they if that's what they mean, but I'm gonna do this real quick. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're in diagnostic mode. It's gonna go through a bunch of settings. I just want to test the heater. The heater, right now, it's going through air codes, and so I'm gonna skip ahead of some of these 
Nope, I need to go one more. One more. Cycle one, cycle three, start. That should kick on the heater. Now it should be in this, it should test this heater cycle for four minutes according to the service diagnostic cycle. I just do this so much that I don't really pull it out. I'm just doing it for this video. A little bit of water. Ooh. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's definitely working. So that's a quick way to just check out the heater without oming it out or waiting for it to go into heat. Another thing you can check. It very rarely happens, but just to make sure this vent's not clogged with anything, looks good. I should make like a dishwasher card and leave it behind instead of writing all this out all the time. Where in about 95% of dishwasher not drying work orders I go to, there's nothing wrong with the dishwasher. It's usually a uh, user error. So I've got a shelf, I've got a drawer that's coming apart back here. See that? I said someone's fixed this before. I don't like these screws getting rid of them. Actually, I'm just removing this. This piece is just too short. And when this was rebuilt the first time, I don't know, the wood's kind of warping plastic, cardboard, whatever the hell it is. I'm gonna hold this so it doesn't, I'm gonna make sure this doesn't move anymore. I'm just gonna do this around the whole drawer. We install this railing. Filling in these cracks with some wood glue. I'm gonna clean this up. It just looks kind of crappy. All right, look at that, guys. You know what that is? That's GFAP. GFAP is good enough for apartment maintenance.
right. I'm just gonna run a rinse cycle to get rid of the excess. Good to go. That's gonna wrap things up for today. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. Until the next episode, I'm Dave. I hope to see you there.